You may have watched Netflix's new original show, Narcos, which talks about the Pablo Escobar uh, empire. And it features one particularly grisly scene in which a young pregnant woman, a, uh, a coke mule, dies in an emergency room after accidentally ingesting 12 grams of cocaine after the capsule burst inside. And uh, you may be curious as to whether or not this is actually, you know, how this actually works, how we would be able to uh, transfer this over to real life. Um, what is a deadly amount? Well, we are going to tell you. Um, let's take a look at yeah. one time where this this is kind of gross. It's not a real picture, but it is a visualization of this a 2011 case yeah. in which... Is, go yeah, ahead. No, this is an actual person who um, is a drug mule and managed to... How many pieces? It was like 27? This was an, a, a young man yeah. who had 72 thumb-sized packets of cocaine hanging out within his digestive system. Right. 800... 30 grams in all. Uh, he was detained for nervous behavior and was, yeah, you should be nervous, and taken to a medical imaging machine, which showed this. It's, right. uh, he was, didn't die. Yes, they he got didn't to die. him in time. He was but. one of the successful ones to come through. Um, but in a study, I believe, they said that um, anywhere from 20 to 25 percent of people are, if they weren't in danger, um, or I'm sorry, if they, if, they were in danger of having one of the capsules potentially rupture once it actually passed through the system. Mm -hmm. you know? so, um, they did do. They did look at a case where it ruptured on the way out. On the way out, yes. which is better than in the digestive system because right. the way people would, I guess, get the biggest high off cocaine would be digesting it through their stomach or snorting it. Of course, the well, that's preferred not the, way. That's not the biggest high. The the biggest high is actually if you shoot it directly. That's what is more. It's most deadly. Is, uh -huh. is if you put it into the bloodstream directly. So. There was some, oh, so it's not the worst thing you could do. The, it's know, pretty right? damn bad, though. The author who kind of put this together um, did some research and discovered that uh, while ingesting it is not the most deadly method, um, it's still 11 grams of cocaine is enough to put anyone on an overdose. Um, it actually only takes 1.5 grams to, to kill overdose, you, right. to OD. Yes. So 11 is definitely, uh, uh, over, it'll over, kill you. Over, it'll. Over. It's not going to be good. You're going to have... Maybe a hemorrhage, maybe a heart attack. There are a number of things that could happen to you uh, by ODing on it's cocaine. It's insane to me. First of all, I was actually more um, surprised about the, uh, really, the show. I mean, I, want, I think it's good that we're bringing some light to the fact that drug mules exist. And um, I certainly wasn't educated as much. I know that they existed, but I figured they got away with putting away like three or four packets. Not freaking 70. Okay, like, that one was probably m higher than average. Oh, I'm just saying, even the idea of but having 70 lethal doses of cocaine inside of your body. One is lethal, yeah. Right. So um, uh, researchers wanted to see how much the, the lethal amount would be, uh, but they didn't test it on humans. They actually tested it on animals. Um, so what they did is they uh, were doing LD100 coke dose, how much it takes to kill a 100% 100 of test subjects for a human size 150 pound uh, animal. So if with dogs, it is about an eight ball, 3.5 grams. For the same size rat, so this is a 150 pound rat theoretically, uh, they would need up to 13.5 grams. Rats love cocaine. Rats love cocaine and they can take it, they can just go, go to town. They also love cookies. They love cookies as much as they love cocaine. Remember that study, right? I don't know what you're talking okay. about. So they did a study in which, at some point, rats were shown to be just as addicted to Oreos as cocaine. Yay! You know? And so the, the kind of the joke from that whole study came from, oh, guess what? Rats love cookies and cocaine. Mm -hmm. Surprise, surprise. Um, so if you, if, so if a, a drug mule had the body of a giant rat, you'd be probably okay. Uh, right. Barring that, you are not okay. That is, that is the <laughs> shocking conclusion we've come to that. You could have a heart attack, a hemorrhage, hypothermia, delirium, just maybe even a stroke. It will not be fun for you at all. Uh, um, so the medical term for this is actually body packing syndrome. Body packing. Uh, you can apparently survive if you seek medical attention immediately. Before it's all absorbed. Yeah, uh, okay. benzos delivered by IV is the way to do it. Um, there aren't really a lot of stats of how many people actually die from this. Right, because it's illegal. Because it's illegal. You know, And probably a lot of it goes unchecked, uncategorized, undocumented, mm -hmm. which is kind of, you know, I guess what they're trying to be doing with the show a little bit is showing the reality of that this stuff happens, so. 
uh, it still it still sh you know shatters my reality a little bit. Um, no more coke parties. No more. No. I, it, no, no. Sorry, I can't. I can't reasonably stick my nose into a powder knowing it was shoved up someone's ass. And it could have killed them. It you killed monster. Them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, truth. And in the case of the Netflix show, actually, I don't. I don't guess there's. We don't want to put spoilers inside of it. So that's just one grim scene. That is one not what the scene. show is about. It shows a lot of grim scenes. Yes. Uh, so check that out if that's your thing. Uh, audience, let us know if. Whoa. What am I going to ask about this? Are you uh, Are you what? a drug mule? Let us know below in the comments. And please, please subscribe for more. Oh. <laughs>